And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Beagle or Bagel. Which is kind of fun to say, right? Ha ha ha. And I'm assuming it came from an internet meme where someone saw a beagle curl up in a ball and said, that looks like a bagel. I don't think I would ever actually confuse the two since there's a difference in size, whatever. The point of this game is we're going to be flipping cards over and trying to figure out if there's more beagles on the table or if there's more bagels on the table. Hot dog! Let's take a look. So there are three games, they're all very similar. Uh, the cards are all here double-sided and you're going to see beagles or bagels. So right now on the table there's one, two, three, four, five, six bagels and two beagles. So in game number one, discard down, at the very beginning everyone's going to flip over their piles at the same time and then you need to shout out what there is more of. In this case, it's beagle. It could be tie. Um, it would be difficult for it to be a tie, but if there's a double or something, it might happen. So if I shout out Beagle, I'm first, then I'll take my card, flip it over, and put it on top of another card. Now, I've revealed Hot Dog, and what Hot Dog means is the answer is Beagle. It doesn't matter how many bagels or beagles are out there. So I quick shout Beagle again. So I get to put out another card. I put this out, and now there are bagels, so this person shouts out Bagel, and then they cover this up. And it's Bagel again, and then they cover this up. Is it still Bagel? No, because we have two, four, five beagles. One, two, three, four bagels. So now it's beagle. And this person shouts it out. And then they cover this up. And well, now it's still beagle. And then they cover this up. And now it's definitely beagle. Look at all those beagles that are out there. And so that's essentially how the game is going to work. As soon as someone gets rid of all their cards, they win. If opposite's out, then you say the opposite word of whatever it is. So if instead of beagle, you would say bagel. Instead of bagel, you would say beagle. The next game that you can play is something very similar except you'll have some tokens in the middle here and after everyone has flipped their cards over you grab the token of the correct one so if it's bagel you grab bagel if it's a beagle you grab a beagle and there will be one less token than the number of players the last person to grab one will lose a treat token everyone starts with four treat tokens when all your treat tokens are gone you're eliminated last person eliminated wins and then the final game, you simply have eight cards, you flip them over, whoever shouts it out gets all the cards, and at the end of eight rounds, whoever has the most cards is the winner. So the tokens themselves are good quality, they're nice fat tokens. The whole game kind of is based on this pile though, right? And the fact of the matter is, it's, you know, I guess somebody had the meme, is it a bagel or a beagle, as you look at these. But for the most part, I would say most of the time, it's pretty obvious. Now with speed, it's going to be a little trickier. And I think it's not always the same on both sides, what it is. So there might be a beagle. Here we have a bagel and a double bagel and a beagle and a bagel and a beagle and a bagel and a bagel and a bagel. And a bagel. That one could be a beagle, right, with his head? Who knows? But either way, the game is all about all these cute pictures of dogs wrapped up in a circle and delicious bagels. Card quality's okay, and everything fits in the box fine. This is kind of the same thing over and over and over and over again. It's also a game that we've seen many times before. Flip cards over and see where they are. This is funny, it's okay, people are gonna have fun. I played it, my kids enjoyed it. We flipped the cards over, you shout bagel or beagle. At the end of the day though, the joke of whether it's a bagel or a beagle, is kind of done pretty quickly. And after that, it's just a game, which is bagels and beagles. The problem with some of the games are, you can count everything on the table and you watch the card being flipped over. So you run into that problem, the person flipping it over has to flip it away from themselves and then people are shouting out bagel or beagle and then it's not always so easy to figure out who's first. Grabbing the tokens is a little easier. Of course when you grab the tokens you have the chance of getting gouged by other people's nails. So the shout, it just feels like it's Built on other games, there's Jungle Speed, which is the kind of the quintessential uh, version of this style game out there where you flip cards over, see if anything matches, and grab something in the middle. Here, there's always going to be something. People are shouting Beagle and Bagel, and so if I shout Bagel, what did I say? If I'm Southern, I, I have fun trying to figure that out anyway. Beagle, Bagel, 
There you go. There you go. It's, it's a funny idea and it works once for me. But I'm not sure it works once as a game that I actually want to go out and purchase. Again, with a lot of other things out there. So it's humorous. And maybe if you know someone with beagles or cute dogs, you want to get this then this for as, you know, like a, hey, hey, this is a funny game that you can play. And they'll enjoy it. I just think it gets lost in the crowd of these games that are out there already. And I don't know. I like beagles and I like bagels. This game is okay. Dice Tower Judgment, amusing, but a bit one note. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.